Welcome to Media Minute. I'm Michael Forward. And I'm the ghost of media past. We're going to bring you your entertainment headlines in quick time. Ghost, what's going on in the video world? As I'm the ghost of media past, I'm going to tell you about some shows that have been resurrected. Saved by the Bell is back. I don't know who asked for this, but Saved by the Bell is back. It's on NBC's Peacock. In this sequel to the 1990s sitcom, Governor Zach Morris's education plan transfers several students from a recently closed school to Bayside High, where Jesse and Slater now work. Who cares? Also, back from the dead, from the 90s, the Animaniacs, they're back as well. Yakko, Wacko, and Dot are back with Pinky and the Brain in 13 episodes. I've watched this. Pinky and the Brain's all right, but the rest of it, yeah. Finally, bring us back to the 70s. They made another Star Wars holiday special. This time it's Lego. After the events of Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, Ray's friends prepare for Wookiee Life Day. I don't care about this. Watch The Mandalorian. It's much better. Well, uh, thank you, Ghost. We'll be back right after this with video game news. All right, we're back uh, to Media Minute, and our ghost has uh, disappeared, so I've got to tell you about some uh, video game news. Devil May Cry Special Edition from Capcom has come out for the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. Of course, Devil May Cry is back. The legendary stylish action game is better than ever with the ultimate version of this multi-award-winning hit. You get a new playthrough, a new playable character. You have Dante's brother and his arch-rival Virgil. There's a new horde mode called Legendary Dark Knight and a turbo mode where you get to play the game at 1.2 speed just in case you love punishing yourself. That's doing fairly well, 87 on Metacritic. If you like to sing, well, Let's Sing 2021 has come out for the Xbox One, PS4, and Switch. It's from Voxler. Sing along to 30 international hits and original music videos. You get to play with some friends, one to four players. The game will give you feedback, so uh, it will tell you that you're horrible. And they have a new solo mode, hopefully not so low that nobody can hear you, with 16 challengers and three basic challenges and a final battle. Sing a final battle. I like the sounds of that. Next up is QV for the Switch. It's from Izzy, and you take the role of Kubi. And she can access the gate and restore balance to the dimensional core, whatever that means. It's an isometric puzzle platformer with catchy tunes and a charming song and style. And uh, it's doing fairly well, 80 on Metacritic. Now for you uh, soccer football nerds out there, Football Manager 2021 is out. It's for the PC, iPhone, and iPad from Sports Interactive. Be the ultimate soccer boss of over 50 nation and over uh, 25,000 clubs at every level of play. Access the depth and strength of your squad. Craft tactical strategies. Look at all sorts of charts, <laughs> graphs, and statistics. And watch your decisions play out on a 3D match mode. Uh, doing really well, actually. 85 on Metacritic. Uh, this one is a remake, uh, Katamari Damacy. It's for uh, PC, PS4, and Xbox and Switch. It's from Bandai Namco, and it's a remake of the uh, original uh, Katamari game. 
uh, join the King of the Prince of the Cosmos on their wacky adventure to restore the stars. This roll em up game has been rebuilt from the ground up in glorious HD. And it's, uh, I mean, it's the ultimate game because it, uh, it's every person's fantasy to turn small balls into bigger balls. Finally, we're going to wrap it, things up with Empire of Sin for the PC from Romero Games. It's a strategy game where you take on the role of a ruthless criminal in 1920s Prohibition Chicago. Hustle, charm, and intimidate your way to the top of the pile and do what it takes to stay there. There's some turn-based tactical combat and story decisions. Doing all right. 69 on Metacritic. Thanks for watching. Make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and we'll see you next time.